I'm Alan Frutkin. It's the fourth and final day of the network portion of the TV Critics Association's annual winter press tour. ABC is up today, and entertainment president Stephen McPherson spoke to journalists about the writer's strike and its impact on the network, a mid-season schedule that contains perhaps the most new content of any of the four major networks, and the future of broadcasting in a slumping economy. We're excited about the mid-season because for us, you know, the fall was a little bit leaner than it's been in the past in terms of new material. So we have a lot of new material coming up between now and May and then into the summer. So it's, uh, it's a different kind of year, you know, certainly strike affected. But the shows are uh, really coming in nicely and we're excited creatively and it'd be good to get it out there and have people judge. You know, CSI, I think, you know, originally could have worked on ABC. Uh, I think Law & Order could work on ABC. NYPD Blue was kind of, I, I guess, people hold up, and I think rightfully as an ABC procedural. Um, characters played a huge part in it, ongoing serialized storylines, but cases each week, so there was a driving franchise. I think we look at Grey's Anatomy as a procedural, but with a lot of soap opera against it. I think the question for us is how much soap, how much do you uh, have in terms of just the franchise? I don't know that ABC can succeed with a just sheer procedural where the actors are interchangeable and you really could just get rid of everybody and it's just a mystery or it's just a cop show. I think we're always going to have that, have that depth of character, especially if we're you know, promoting those shows on the shows that are working for us, The Desperate Housewives and Lost, that are really, while they have high concepts, they're really about those people. So we're trying to find a procedural that fits both those bills. You can go now, Michael. Who are you? People are so passionate, the show is so intense, that they watch it on the air for that hour, and they're either exhausted and like take a break to kind of process it themselves, or they go online, they call their you know, friend, they start getting into the lost communities. And I, I think there's a, probably a reality to that. You hear it enough, you have to think there's something to that. That said, you know, we've, we've tried different things behind it. I don't know that we've had as compatible a show on paper as, as Life on Mars. I, it appeals to the same audience. We've done things that completely are not in the lost uh, vein, and then we've done some things, um, you know, that we thought were more in that vein. But I, I think that the serialized, you know, nature of Lost, the appointment television nature of it, the way people watch television now, they do make appointments for specific things rather than, I'm going to watch this whole night, I'm going to watch this whole schedule. At this point, somebody has not uh, you know, shown me or explained to me the way you're going to reach millions of people and the way you're going to have great content that costs money, even if we cost contain some of these uh, pilots, you're not going to see suddenly AOL doing $4 million episodes of Lost. And I think that we need to figure out smarter ways to monetize the networks and collaborate with the other platforms and figure out how they can help us succeed and how we can help them become you know, a second revenue source for us. But I really hope that the networks figure it out. It's what we're charged with right now is, is where, where are we going to be in five years and how do we do what we do now better facing the challenges that we have. That was ABC Entertainment President Stephen McPherson, which wraps up our coverage of the winter TCA press tour here in Los Angeles. We'll see you again at the summer TCA press tour. For Media Week, I'm Alan Frutkin.